and under the radar music. With Andrew Marston. Now, inspired by Independent Venue Week, we started at the beginning of this latest lockdown, a brand new feature called Venue of the Week. Now, the idea is to celebrate some of our great establishments that we're regularly hosting live music and keeping the local scene afloat, especially at a time that bands are effectively banned. So this week we set out from the battlefields of Valhalla and row our way down the mighty Avon to the Valkyrie. My name is Katrina, I'm in the Valkyrie Bar and Music Venue in Market Square, Evesham, with my partner Steve. <laughs> We have a great open plan venue with great acoustics, a big stage, computerised lighting and a state-of-the-art music system. We have a large bar away from the stage with three televisions linked to the jukebox. Because of the name of the bar, we do have some Viking memorabilia around which look great. We've had a few bands on our stage that have played globally. London's Calling, Anti Nowhere League, Discharge, Hats Off to Led Zeppelin, plus Stop Stop to name a few. My favourite memory from the Viking Bar was opening night. We had the mayor come to open it and say a few words for the Viking reenactment on the square. The band we were most excited about was Hats Off to Led Zeppelin. They were amazing and did not disappoint. The best gig we had would be a local band called Satellite Down, where we were to capacity and that was a great atmosphere as always. we've ever had playing mentioning no names was a four-piece band that we had to ask to stop playing at the interval due to the singer sounded awful which didn't go down too well as you can imagine we find the most effective way to advertise is social media posters and the best being word of mouth a good gig is made up by crowd participation a bad gig is when the band turn up late and have no enthusiasm The funny story is when Stop Stop turned up at 2pm to do a sound check. They were due on stage at 10pm. Our daytime customers were a bit shocked to say the least. They did their gig and stayed with us until 3.30am until we had to ask them politely, we want to go home now, haven't you got homes to go to? Bye! There you go, the Valkyrie in Evesham with the final words on tonight's show. But kind of time, well, just time for one more tune then tonight. And an artist who's lived in Herefordshire since the 70s, and his house is on the riverbank by Fanhope, which of course.